Did you pick up some raspberries from the farm market? Maybe you've got some raspberry bushes at home. Well, we've got a great recipe, uh, a way that you can use all that fresh fruit. This is Pete Lemire from Your Secret Kitchen in Suamico. Good morning. Good morning. So we're pairing raspberries with fish. Raspberries with fish is better than any type of tartar sauce with Ooh, fish. Okay, tell us about it. Well, we're going to grill tilapia, and tilapia we're going to do a raspberry tomatilla salsa with. Ooh. And when we grill fish, there are two sides. This is the muscle structure side. This would be the side to the skin. You can see the fat on it. Mm -hmm. And what we do is first, we put a little bit of olive oil on it, rub it in, and we're going to season this side first with some seasoned salt and a little bit of ground black pepper. Okay. The reason we do that is we want to cook the presentation side first. Okay. So now we have the presentation side up and it'll be properly seasoned when we go on the grill. If we were to put that fat side up and then set it on the grill, it wouldn't look nearly as nice on the plate. Okay. So, and we get that started on the grill and then we're gonna talk a little bit about recipes. All right. A recipe is nothing more than a historical document of a list of ingredients that worked for one person at one point in time. Okay. You don't have to be nervous following a recipe because everything changes. Grills change, cooking methods change, metals, pan liners, everything changes. Mm -hmm. So the recipe that's on the website, we're talking about doing the salsa. Yeah. And the salsa, we use tomatillas, mm -hmm. and a tomatilla is a, is a really wonderful citrusy fruit. It has a magnificent flavor. It's almost like having a combination of lemon-lime on a fish at the same time. Cool. And we, we roast the tomatilla or broil it until it's slightly blackened. Mm -hmm. And then we also roast one or, or two chilies, green chilies. Mm -hmm. We roast those so that the skin comes off. Okay. Makes them very easy to work with. While those are roasting in the broiler, we simply saute some onion and some garlic. And then the tomatillas and the peppers we would put into a blender. And the recipe is very specific. Into the blender, puree them, add them to the sautéed onion, and you get this beautiful, beautiful salsa. Okay, now is, are the raspberries in there? The raspberries are in there. It gives us the red color. It's the last thing that we add to the salsa after the tomatillas are cooked. As you put the raspberries in? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to just break up a few fresh raspberries to add to it now, just for additional color. stir those into that salsa and you can see the way it brings out the color Absolutely. of the salsa. Brightens it up, livens it up and adds a little more flavor. Mm -hmm. Now the fish takes about three minutes aside when you're doing a half inch thick filet. Mm -hmm. You only turn fish once. Yep. Don't play with your food, listen to your mother. <laughs> okay, I like that. These are uh, planked grilled sweet potato and we're going to use them for the base of the fish. Then the grilled tilapia is put on just on the edge on the top of the fish. Mm -hmm. Then we come back with the fish with the dressing of the salsa right across the corner of the fish. And we drop a little bit on the sides for a splash of color. And we finally we garnish it with a few raspberries and um, we're presentation ready. Yeah, that looks absolutely wonderful. And if you're thinking, wait, what, what did he just do over there? We've got the recipe on fox11online.com. Just click on the Good Day Wisconsin tab. And then we also have that awesome recipe for the grilled peaches that he made earlier. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.